Fire TV Richie, and uh, this episode, or that episode, <laughs> this video is going to show you how to use Terranium. And uh, this is the first, first of all, you probably need to know what it looks like. This is what it looks like uh, if it's not in your recent or in your apps, then just scroll on down to see all. And the page that I'm on right now, if you just click your home button, if you see at the very top where it says home, your videos, movies, TV shows, just click the home button, it'll take you straight to that home page, and that's where you see your apps and your games. So scroll all the way over, click see all. Some of you are thinking apps are disappearing on your device. This is all it does, is just go to the back sometimes and you have to go to this section and check it out. You can always move them back to the front by clicking the uh, button right to the right of the home button. Looks like three horizontal lines. And then you can click on move to the front. Anyhow, that is what Terranium looks like. If you click on it, most likely you're going to have an update to do. Uh, and the reason why is because Terranium is very popular and it's changing every single day. It's making, uh, fix it's fixing bugs and uh, things that are wrong and adding new stuff and making the performance better. So that is why there's updates. Sometimes there's one or two updates a day and then all of a sudden there might be an update once a week. Sometimes there's two or three a week. It just doesn't, it, there's no way of telling, telling you exactly how many updates you're going to have. But uh, most likely, even if you bought a device with it already installed, uh, most likely there's going to be an update if you haven't used it. So uh, that page comes up, just click update. And it'll take a second to download the actual file, and that's what's going on right here. It's downloading 1.7.3. I was thinking my internet was down for a second there. <laughs> it was staying at zero percent, but it's going it's going a whole lot quicker now. So this page will come up, and this is the standard install page that you get on the Fire TV and the Fire TV sticks. Just press the down button until you see where it highlights canceled and press to the right and click install. And this will install the latest version of Terranium TV. And this usually doesn't take but a second. Right here, I wouldn't say open, I would say done. And then go back to it, because it's kind of like doing a force close in a way. When you click open, sometimes it won't bring up this page, and it needs to bring up that page so that you're actually in the newest version. Uh, OK is already highlighted, so don't press the button up and down or anything like that. Just click the uh, the uh, select button, the round button. This page is basically just telling you all the new different stuff that just happened in this version. So there you go. Um, you find a TV show you like. You can just click on it. If you want to watch a movie, click that button right there at the very top right hand corner. It looks just like this, the uh, hamburger button or the menu button on your remote. In fact, you might even be able to use that. Let me click and bring it down here and then, nope, you can't use that on your remote. So you have to click up there, click on movies, and all the latest movies will come up. You don't want to scroll through all these. You can just at the very top, it looks like a little magnifying glass. Click right there and you type in what movie you want to watch. Uh, let's type in S and see what happens. All the movies that start with an S come up, but you can just type in the full name of the movie or whatever and it will pop up in there. Okay, so. I'm going to show you how to use TV show section because that one is a little bit harder to uh, navigate through. It's not really harder. I shouldn't even say harder because that will get 
that'll get you thinking that it's hard to navigate through. It's just there's a couple more steps to it because there's different seasons and episodes and all that kind of stuff. But if you know how to use the TV shows, you will know how to use the movies. So I'm just going to show you the TV shows. So let's go to how about Suits. You click on it. First page it comes up is an overview. It tells you kind of what the uh, show's about. If you just push to the right, you see how it highlights. Just click on season. And then you can click on season one, two, three, four, whatever. Just click on season one. And then again, highlight what episode. If you're on season one, it's going to have a one and then an X in front of every number, meaning season one, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how you read it. So just say six. Just click on it and then click the play button on your remote. And then it'll bring up a bunch of links. So just wait about 15 seconds. We already got a 1080, so I'll go ahead and show you with a 1080. You click on the 1080 or the 720 or the 480 or whatever it is. And you just click play. And that's basically it. Uh, with <laughs> Very good quality in Terranium, a lot better than Cody most of the time. Um, to get out of it, there, there are advertisements, and you do want to have your mouse activated, so uh, your cursor mouse. So if you do not have your cursor mouse activated, if you can't press the play button twice and this little circle comes up, if that does not come up, then you need to go to the app section and click on the mouse toggle. And that's how you activate it. You just click on it. And uh, then you should be able to get the mouse to come up when you're inside one of these programs. To get the mouse off, you just click the play button in any direction on the, on the uh, remote. Okay, now some of you are having issues with um, Tranium not working saying a video player is not installed uh, you need to install what's called uh, MX player and uh, some of you have an outdated MX player so if you have if you if you're looking in your app section your games and apps like I showed you how to get to before you'll see this little poker chip some of you have it some of you don't I've only been putting it on devices for about two or three months so if you have it go ahead and click on it This one's got an update to do as well. So if it has an update, just click OK. Down to the right for install. And then click Open on this one. And it didn't open, but that's fine. You can always just reopen it. Okay, with this app, a lot of times, if you see right here, there's always an ad that pops up. So just click the uh, the back button. And I'll exit the app. And you have all the these different sections. You're going to want to go to Android apps. Another ad pops up, just click to the left, I mean click to uh, click the uh, back button, and find the one that says Ilmex Player Nightly. Also if you do not have the mouse, you can get it right there. See there's Ilmex Player Pro, Ilmex Player 1.8.3, and Nightly. This is the one that you're going to want to use. So you basically just click on that. And it starts to install. Right here, you just go down, click install. And just like the other installs, just do it just like that. When it's done, just click done instead of open. Uh, I've already got it on my player, so, uh, so I don't need to use it. 
Anyway, so if your training is not working, this is what you need to do to, uh, to fix your, your uh, MX player. Uh, some of you have the V player on there because Terranium used to use the V player. It's switched back and forth with the V player and uh, MX player. I like the V player more, but MX player has fixed itself a whole lot, so that's, that's good. Uh, also inside of here, there's a few other things that you can download. When you download something, make sure that it's the right app, like Mobdro you already have. If yours goes broken or something like that and you delete it, uh, make sure you put the beta on. Live Net TV is good. I haven't tried that one. Cody Launcher, do not put that on your device because uh, Amazon blocks it, I believe. Let's see. Aptoid, you should have that on your player already. Okay, now, if this app which is called streams is not on your your player what you're going to want to do is be on your home page or any page that you got and uh, if you see this app right here this is what you're going to download it's called fire dl so uh, hold down the uh, the microphone on your remote and say fire fire In the second row where it says apps and games, it's going to be the first thing that comes in there. It says Fire DL. If you say Fire DL in your in your uh, voice remote, it's not going to find it. So uh, you just go through the steps that you see on there. Just click on download or install or whatever. Mine's already on here. But once you're in here, you're going to uh, let me get the code for you real quick. I think it is six thousand. Sixty thousand, I believe. Yes, it is six hundred thousand. So let's see again six zero 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 zero. So six hundred thousand. Anyway, six with a bunch of zeros until this pops up. You'll see it'll say streams two somewhere in the middle of that. Uh, that will put that app with the poker chip on your device. So that's how you do that. Um, there's other other options inside that app. It's a really good app. So um, that is basically how you do it in a nutshell. Also, if you do not have Teranium working on your device, Teranium is in this app as well. So you can delete your old Terranium and re-download it through this. Okay, that's it. That's a wrap for this video. Uh, Y'all take care. God bless.